Hello, today's devotional can be found in 1 Nephi chapter 6, verse 6. Wherefore I shall give commandment unto my seed that they shall not occupy these plates with things which are of not worth unto the children of men. Okay, before the scriptures came to pass, all the information was written on plates of brass. Plates of gold, depending on how you looked at it. And the Lord commanded people to keep records of posterity, of revelation, of events in their society, and of different things that included warnings for us about how not to live because then it would be terrible for us. Because the Lord saw our day. And he wanted us to be warned. So he revealed little bits to the prophets of old. And they wrote warnings based on what the Lord told them. And the warnings are for our benefit because if God didn't care about us, he wouldn't warn us that we need to improve on whatever we're struggling with. And it was a commandment that we only be given the the knowledge and the, the knowledge that would be of worth to us that we might be able to use it in making decisions and become wiser because of it. Now, we are all given commandments that we might occupy our time with things that will be of worth to us that we might be able to help others down the road. And some of us, a lot of us aren't as good as, at managing time as we might think. Because we have, we're too engaged in time stealers and time and things that just allow us to be idle. We need to be better at it. We don't need to be perfect because nobody can be perfect save God and Jesus. But we need to engage our time in things that will help us gr learn, grow, and flourish. We need to engage in things that will be worth something unto us that we may be of a benefit to others by sharing what we have learned. And, our, and, and things that are worth to us, good knowledge, good thoughts, kindness, love, charity, all these good things need to occupy our minds and our hearts as well. And we need to do things that will be of worth to us. We really need to. We need to treat ourselves that we, as, as though we are perfectly aware of the knowledge of our infinite worth. I mean, we're aware that God loves us a lot and that Christ died for us, but are we really aware that we are of infinite worth the Heavenly Father and it breaks his heart when he loses any of his sons and daughters to Satan's cunning ways and they don't come back. It breaks his heart like it would any father who loses children. <sighs> Fortunately, there's chance for repentance, there's chance for redemption, hence why the atonement was made. So that we wouldn't be held to our sins forever, that we could repent, we could come back, we could do better. And we shouldn't be afraid to ask for the help of the atonement to do better. Because life can get so overwhelming sometimes as we, as we work to separate the knowledge that is worthless to us from that which will help us to learn, grow, and flourish. Life can get exhausting. And we must choose for ourselves. It is, our, it is a privilege. 
if we choose poor, if we uh, choose poorly, we become bound by the bad choice and lose our freedom for a little while. But we can get it back if we so are willing to make the effort to reach out for that atonement. So be careful. We are of infinite worth to God and Jesus Christ and to our Heavenly Mother. And we need to engage in things, whether it be thought or action, that will help us to maintain and increase our worth to ourselves, to others, and well, our worth to God in Christ cannot be measured, for it is infinite. But if we see ourselves as worthless, how can we know that God and Jesus Christ love us? Well, we really can't, hence why we need to realize that we are valuable and of great worth before we can know of the worth that we are to Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ. But it's your choice. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.